problem with the world is when you live with a world that you can't say, hang on, this is nuts. Once you can't say like, whoa, I know what normal is and this is not normal, then, then you're crazy. I mean, what they're doing to children is, is nothing short of child abuse. A kid could be eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old, too young to go to the army, too young to smoke, too young to be an adult, too young to watch adult material, too, they're not adults. And they're like, I feel like I want to be a different gender. And the world becomes scared to say, you know what, let's put this off until you're 21. Let's see how you feel before we make a drastic change and start changing your gender. And we're, we are not all crazy, but because we're scared, the chas v'shom, God forbid, we should look like we're not accepting, we all have to become crazy. I mean, it's just, it's, it's child abuse. An eight-year-old, a 10-year-old, a 12-year-old doesn't, should not know what parts are and what gender is. It's not, it's not like they're 15 even, or 16, or 17, and, and, and what are you doing? And when they go for help, what I would say is, listen, there's two choices of why you feel like this. One is, God made you this way. That's what they say, that it could be nurture or nature, right? The other one is abuse. Most of these kids went through abuse, and instead of taking out the knife of abuse, and healing them from their abuse, they change genders, and guess what happens after they're a different gender? They have the same abuse. So now they have more depression, because they're still dealing with trauma, still dealing with depression, then dealing with rejection, and then dealing with different, and then waking up and saying, hey, I can never be like my family, I can never have children, I can never, 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 I mean real children, if anybody remembers what real children are and how they're, how they're created because now they can create different ways. It's like, I, I lost my whole life, and why? Because I went to a therapist, and the therapist was so scared to say, hang on, are you in the right frame of mind to make this decision? So we, the world, became crazy because we, and, and we're hurting them. We're hurting them. Most, most, I mean, there's so much research on this. Most people would not want to do this. They change their mind constantly. They change their mind. Why can't you let an eight-year-old get a tattoo? Why can't you let an eight-year-old make life decisions? Because they're eight. Because they're eight. Let them be children. Why should they know about this? And now they just, they were going to pass a bill in Florida that four-year-olds and five-year-olds don't have to know about this. Keep them pure and innocent. And Biden and all of them said, no, then they're going to make the other five-year-olds who, um, who have gender issues be phobic. Five-year-olds? Disney World? Disney, right, like, uh, why can't we, listen, if you are a certain age, and you really want to, and you really have, you know, and, okay, we're, we're not fighting you, but we're so scared to let innocent children be innocent, like, we have to force their mind to become confused, because one of them might, at five years old, you can't even, what are we doing? And, and sometimes, you can't even win a debate. Sometimes you have to say, this is crazy. No, we're not changing Gmail and insurance forms. You know, you know how hard it is? Imagine that I decided that I came up with something and I want to influence the world. Go, go through all the red type, all the red tape. I want to go through all the red tape to change the forms in doctor's offices, in hospitals, and in insurance, and I come up with my thing. It would take me 20 years to fight that. Try to change. Try to change any kind of thing that we have. The world doesn't change. This, right away. Oh, ooh, somebody wants to become a girl, someone wants to be a boy, right away. Gmail, open, it, open an account, 30 seconds. Go to Gmail, put a new account, it asks you, are you male, female, or other? Until recently, I didn't know there's another. Other, right? And then there's like 22 types of other, and I'm starting to question myself. I thought I was just a male. I'm like, I, I, this, why, why are we, if you're confused, fine, but if you're not confused, why do we have to confuse people? That's the worst child abuse that we can do, that we're almost like apologizing in case we have a six-year-old who just is a girl who wants to be a girl and wants to have a mommy and a daddy. It's like, no, they have to know that there's a mommy and a mommy, and there's a daddy and there's a daddy, there's a mommy and a daddy, and daddy was a mommy, is now a daddy who's a mommy who's marrying a mommy who was a daddy. And a girl who was a boy who's now marrying a boy who was a girl 
Why, why do we have to take adult information, right? I'm, I'm talking about even if I was on their side, even if we were pro all of this, but why force it down the minds of children that are supposed to be playing with silly putty and thumbtack and thumbtack, not thumbtacks. Don't make them play with thumbtacks. That's dangerous. And fun tack, and are supposed to be thinking about five-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old toys. And now they can't even play with Barbie and Ken because it's like just too conf No, they shouldn't have to have a Barbie and a Ken. What? And now there's no Mr. Potato Head because children have to know that there's no Mr., there's no potato, there's no head. There's Mrs. Potato. Is there a Mrs. Potato Head? No. There's Mr. Potato... They got rid of all forms of potato heads. Stay off camera. They got rid of all forms of potato heads. Couch Just couch potatoes are allowed. And now, we just have potatoes. And the way that it happens out there is the way it ends up happening to us also. It just infiltrates everything. Right, we're living in a crazy world. And what's making the crazy world are not the transgender because there's just a few of them, and I feel bad for them, and I support them in, in, in feeling bad for them and knowing what does this and all of that. that. They're not making the world crazy. It's the crazy liberal world that as soon as there's somebody who comes up with something, right away has the power to change all the forms, all the books, and all the everything. That's, um, whoever thought, why can't somebody say, sorry, this is crazy. If somebody does it, they do it. We're not burning them at the stake. We're not, we shouldn't be um, hurting them, but we don't have to infiltrate regular minds to make sure, are you sure? Are you sure you want to be a girl? Five-year-old, eight-year-old, are you sure? Are you really sure? I think maybe you want to be a boy, you know, and whatever you do, we're going to really love you. Like, why should they be thinking about it? Why should they have to make this decision? And if they say, I'm uncomfortable with my body, then why don't we figure out how to make them comfortable? There's so much trauma. There's so much sexual abuse. There's so many, so much confusion. And we're making them more confused. Tell them, listen, we have, we have 10 years to work on it. Until you're 18 or until you're 21, no, you can't chop off body parts. I think these kids are going to come back in 10 years from now with a vengeance. And they're going to say, what the hell was wrong with all of you people? That you came up with this, like, you couldn't even give me 50% of the other side. You couldn't even tell me in group, in, in therapy, as a psychologist. You couldn't even let me know that this is not going to solve my, psych my psychological problems. And I had more depression afterwards. You had to just say, oh, sure, great, great. Like, they're so scared to even say, this is not going to help you. Let's figure out what's bothering you. Because it's usually child to trauma. I think when they're 30... They're going to come back and they're going to beat us all up with their Mr. Potato Heads. They're going to take the pieces off and they're going to start beating us up with, I mean, it's crazy. It's just crazy. And they're not, we're not doing them a favor. We're not doing them a favor. And, I'm, and I, I have no problem accepting that people have issues and problems and pain and that they need to do certain things. I'm not against those people. I'm against the 99.9% .9 of people that have to jump on every bandwagon and are scared to, 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 to show, God forbid, that we're not fully accepting. So therefore, in order to prove that to you, we're going to take every children's book and make it full of that. Like, they don't, those kids don't need that. They just need to be accepted, okay, and not to be bullied. Fine, but our other kids don't need that.